Hi, this is Pat Winner, and I want to do a quick little flip through of this journal that I made for the young lady next door. Um, you might remember Leah. She um, wanted to know how to learn how to do journals, and so we spent a summer um, making a journal, and she really enjoyed it, and she started another one. So I thought that um, while I had a little time, I would um, make her one. Uh, she loves moons and vintage, so I thought I would just um, make one kind of fun, but um, in, in that theme. So I used a pair of my old Levi's, uh, a pant leg for the cover, and then covered it layered um, vintage, this was from a vintage wedding gown, and then some vintage lace a friend gave me, and I printed this off, changed the name, and put tiny little crystals um, for the stars. And on the back, I printed another cover and added a little crystal, and then some vintage lace. And on the side, I just added um, a little bottle of stardust and a crystal and a boho bead and another crystal and a couple encouraging words on the dangles like hope and this is strength. So let's take a quick peek. Oh, it is a hardcover. And this belly band, um, a letter is gonna go in there for Leah. So that's why it's empty. So the, the kits that I use for this is um, Gecko Gals, Pixified, um, Allegra Digital, Emma Parrish, Creative Art and Soul, um, Digital Scrap, and Sweet Vintage Prints. I had um, last year made her the little moon folio from Sweet Vintage Prints. And um, it had like these cards in it and the moon and stuff. So I really liked that and sh she enjoyed it. So I just thought I would follow through with that theme. So I printed off um, several uh, stickers, which I put here and there so she can place them wherever she'd like. On, um, I printed them on the mat um, oh shoot the clear mat address labels it's a full, the full sheets and then just cut them out in this pocket I just uh, put a lot of journaling cards I left a lot of space so she could write and do her own little journaling and added a lot of little uh, vintage lace pieces and fabrics and charms on the side and vintage doily and just a little layered moon and some more cards and a little card slip in there and another little card here a little tuck and some more vintage or, um, journaling cards and a little this is just an image from uh, Pinterest. I kind of borrowed it. And this little paper clip has a little something she could journal on, make a little date or something. But this is from a vintage um, ch children's workbook at school. And it's another vintage card. I use a little belly band and a, a pocket for some extra some larger journaling cards and I kind of personalized this I put her name under this she loves to read and I'm considering her a moon child <laughs> so and you'll see why later on when it describes what a moon child is and I just printed off, or I didn't print I used rubber stamp on a piece of coffee dyed paper a nice little journaling card and I added some 
little sayings throughout here and there. More journaling cards. And one of the um, cats that comes over, um, a lot of you know about Sweet Annie, the white one with the one green eye, one blue. But she has a little friend now, and she's black. And Leah had named her Luna because she kind of wanders the neighborhood. But she kind of makes it over for breakfast and dinner each day. <laughs> But anyway, so this is Luna. And this is one of the, the uh, part of the folio from Sweet Vintage Prints. And it had this little moon that you could put inside with a pocket. And these are stickers that I printed off on one, from one of the design um, packages that I had mentioned earlier. They're just little stickers. And then some more cards. A piece of sari trim, little be, um, sequins. And just some little cute cards. And these can just be flipped over and written little notes and secrets and such. Like I said, I didn't embellish a lot of the pages because she is into that, so I thought she could do it herself if she wants it, or she can just use it as um, a main journaling book. And I love that. So I had to include that. And that just flips out for more writing space. And this is just like a um, oh mylar clear... Uh, a pocket with a little journaling card. A piece of vintage music that I use just for to tuck in some more cards. And some more cards. And this is a tea bag a friend had given me and I just filled it full of um, full of the stickers that she could use throughout. And it's got three signatures, and each signature I just punched a piece of blue cardstock and put a little shiny thing in the middle of each to represent a star. And it's the other side of the vintage music. And these little discs. This is a sticker, and then little journaling cards. There's a sticker and a journaling card. Each one's like a little pocket, dual pocket. You can put something behind it and in, inside the actual pocket. And this is just a little uh, paper bag a friend had given me. Oops, I've got to glue that. And I just stuck some cards in it. And another pocket with Various journaling cards, a little window. I love that little moon. I just put a piece of applique as a as a pull. A little belly band that has some small journaling cards, and then a pocket for one large. This is just an envelope. A couple of things trims on that that she can put whatever she wishes in. And a little um, bookmark. The little, I put some of the little micro beads. The lighting in here is horrible today, but it is what it is. More journaling cards. I remember I, I purchased two of these beads. I was going to make a pair of earrings, and I lost one of them. I thought it was so pretty because it's a, a matte ab, but it looks like um, the earth. So anyway, it ended up in here. And I cut out the moon with the craters. And a vintage book page just for fun. And this is some packing paper. A friend had sent me a bunch of stuff and 
um, some flowers actually. This and but it, they're circles. It looks like moons. So I included a piece of that and some more little journaling cards. So it's pretty plain. It's just just something that she could use. A nice large journaling card. It tucks in there. Some coffee dyed paper. And these are just two sheets, nice sheets of paper for notes. Oh, just a couple more journaling cards. Everything is moons with some inspirational sayings. And this is the phases of the moon, moon phase meanings that she might find interesting. And that is, um, I love the crinkly paper, and so does she, of the uh, tracing paper. And an applique, and then a nice big journaling card, which is also a message to her. May you touch dragonflies and stars, dance with fairies, and talk to the moon. And that's it. And it's a, um, bracelet clasp which I did not put the other jump ring on which I have to finish but I just wanted to show you guys um because I had shared it a little bit on Instagram so anyway there she is and this is under a vintage moon for Leah <laughs>